Hello my friends, nice to see you all here. I see that you are talking at the chat, so it's really great. Uh, we have lesson number five about making tablecloth shantaya. So we have lesson number five and um, we are making this not not easiest uh, tablecloth shantaya and today we will have uh, just a row number 10. Almost, we will almost finish this tablecloth. Just uh, this time, this project we are making together from first loop to the last stage. That's why we have so many parts, so many lessons. Everything I am making live and uh, also with you. You can help me also sometimes with uh, comments and also with some questions about this uh, project. All schemes and all photos I place it to our free crochet patterns group. And now I will show you how to find this group. So we have this group on Facebook, maybe someone is watching first time. So just a few seconds and I will show you how you can use our materials. This is our free crochet patterns group by, yes, by Chichi House Crochet School. And you can find here a lot of interesting information. During few years we made live, uh, free live workshops and uh, now you can find a lot of materials here. How to use this group? You can uh, join to our group after press photos, next choose albums and uh, each album is about one project, about one motif. For example, now we are making Shantaya, so you can open this one album and here you will find all schemes and photos about only this one tablecloth. So you can uh, take this uh, uh, scheme, print it, uh, print it out and next open our lessons on YouTube channel, yes, and I will show you our YouTube channel, how it looks where we have this YouTube channel here we have it so this is our JT House YouTube channel looks like this JT House Crochet School here we have a lot of videos so you can find here our all lessons about tablecloth shantaya for example uh, the last time we have lesson number four previous lesson number three also we have two lesson number one so you can download scheme uh, print it out and uh, watch all these lessons step by step uh, by using these videos you will make i'm sure you will make this all long stitches this all combination of stitches and you will create your tablecloth um, just without any problems, I, I think. Also, we have a tablecloth, this one, Madeline, only two lessons. Uh, also, the first one was uh, Bailey. Uh, in total, we have four lessons. And also, you can use this all video tutorials to make this tablecloth. Everything else you can have here, so fantastic elements, uh, really special motifs, leaves, square shape elements, uh, rounded shape elements, also uh, fantastic flowers, twigs, uh, flower talisman we have here. You can open each lesson and just watch video tutorial and schemes you can download from our free crochet patterns group. Just you need to find necessary album. Uh, we have a lot of pages with this motifs so this is page number one next use this button at the bottom and choose any album you want yes we have so many beautiful projects here we have a lot of pages just use these two buttons and choose some beautiful elements for your next crochet projects you need to open uh, this album download scheme from it yes and after you need to find the same uh, yes workshop at our youtube channel and use scheme use video tutorial and create beautiful elements at your home so here we have for example this one scheme you can download it and work with it so i hope this information was useful for you and now let's talk about the next interesting step um, what threads i'm using for my projects for my collections and also for this tablecloth shantaya for this one that we have on the photo i used a very beautiful white italian viscous as this thread is very thin i joined three threads together and i used crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters and now about our shantaya so I'm using difficult stitches, very long stitches, a very interesting combination of stitches and step by step I'm showing you all these, yes, interesting parts. And I'm using crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters for my uh, favorite Italian viscose. Also needle with a big eye to hide all tails I, I'm using. And this is our project. This one I made from Italian viscose. I used here few colors to make this incredibly beautiful transition of colors. 
So such also I, I like to use such variants, such design for my projects. And today we have this scheme and we will make a row number 10, this one, uh, with beautiful leaves that we already made in this row, yes, in previous row, in previous rows. <laughs> and uh, now let's start. I will show you how to start and step by step we will make this row number 10. I hope you will make this uh, row together with me, so please take your tablecloth and uh, your crochet hook and uh, let's make it. First part I will try to make really slow, but after I will repeat the same parts, so I will make uh, everything more quickly, just to have chance to show you this all row and also this finish of this row, yes, how to uh, finish the last stitches. So, first part will be really slow. Let's start. I will show you my hands. So, this is my work uh, at this moment. I have nine rows ready, and like you can see, I iron it this all work. So, we have here such a result. Um, we made really interesting combination of stitches, especially at the corners. We prepared such part, yes, for next step, for next row number 10. So, now I will remove the pin and I will show you next rows. Just maybe first I will show you how it looks here, this beautiful part. Because we are making this part, I love it, this beautiful leaves that we have here at the corners. Now we will have two like this leaves. I see comment from Milan, a beautiful tablecloth, thank you so much. I'm very happy that you like it. And uh, such a row we will make. And next we will have last row, number six, about making two last rows. So at the next lesson we will finish to make this big, beautiful project. So let's start. And now we can start row number 10. Okay. I will look to the graphic now. What I need to do next. So we finish it here slip stitches just to cross this chain that we have here 16 loops we have uh, at the previous row so I will make slip stitches to each chain just one slip stitch not tight it's also very important so let's start insert hook to the first chain very accurate make a loop and draw the same loop through this one that we have on the hook so we will have first slip stitch to the second one, insert hook, yarn over and draw this thread through everything, yes, like this. And next the same, insert hook and just make a slip stitch. Again, insert hook to the next chain and step by step we will cross this whole chain. And once again, the last one we have here chain in previous row and cross this part so we have it now we need to join to this first stitch yes double treble crochet that we have at the previous row just we can make single crochet will be okay okay you can make slip stitch it's not matter so much i ju just don't like this big loop so i will make it smaller insert hook below two threads and make a single crochet so I cross this area and now I can start to make few chain loops to move up. I will make 6 chain loops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After uh, we will make 3 double treble crochet to this 3 stitches of previous row. So 3 times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the next stitch below 2 threads and yarn over, make a loop, next yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and two. Now we need to stop, uh, you should have two loops on your hook, we don't finish this stitch. Next again, three times yarn over, uh, just place this all loops very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and make a loop. After yarn over and draw through two loops, two and two. Again, don't finish the stitch, you should have uh, like this, three loops on your hook in this moment. And once again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. The last one to this area. So you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over and join them together, yeah, like this. 
And now switching loops to move up. One, two, three. Okay, so this was beginning of row number 10. Now we need to continue, go to the left side. So we, we have six chain loops more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six chain loops more. So in total I have here nine chain loops. Next, uh, we need to make, let me see just uh, closer to the graphic. Five times yarn over, I think. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Make them very close to the top of the hook. Next, go to this area where we have three stitches. To the first one, below two threads, insert hook. And start to make... I need to see what I need to... Okay. Make a loop. After yarn over and draw through two loops. Second time through two loops. And third time. In this moment, we need to stop and start to make a double treble crochet. So three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, yarn over and make a loop, start to make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again three times yarn over to the same point, insert hook and make a double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over, draw through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops, again through two loops, and the last time. And we finish it such such stage, so we join it together three like at the bottom, and we have this part, yes, part of long stage at the top. Uh, next we have six chain loops: one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Now we will make this beautiful leaf that we made in, yes, at this part of our work. So, a lot of stitches. We start from long stitch seven times yarn over. Five, six, seven. Place them, these all loops, very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch that we have here in previous row, below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop. Next. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And like this, continue to work. Each time, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw yarn through two loops. And like this, very slowly, draw threads through two loops on your hook. And the last time we have two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. This stitch should be not loosely, not too tight. Very beautiful without, yes, big holes, anything like this. So we have it. Next we will make uh, six times yarn over. Three, four, five, six. Again, place this all loops very close to the top of the hook. Now we need to insert hook to the first part that we have in this long stitch, where we draw threads for two loops, yes. So to this first area, insert hook below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop. Next yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, yarn over and draw through two loops, two, two, again two, so all the time through two loops on your hook, till you finish the stitch. So we have now two stitches. First was with seven times yarn over, second with six times yarn over. Now we will make long stitch with five times yarn over. So again, place this all loops very close to the top of the hook. Again, we need to insert hook to the bottom part of this last stitch, so where we draw threads through two loops. Insert hook below two threads, like this. Yarn over and make a loop. Yarn over and draw threads through two loops on your hook. Again, yarn over and draw threads through two loops. Again, all the time yarn over and draw threads through two loops on your hook till you finish the stitch. So we have now three stitches. Continue to make. Next, four times yarn over. One, two, three, four. Again, insert hook to the previous stitch, to the, yes, bottom part where we made just draw threads through two loops. Insert hook to this part and, yes, below two threads, not one thread, two threads. Make yarn over, draw and make a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, again through two loops, two, two, and finish. So we have four stitches like this. 
Uh, next, double treble crochet. So three times yarn over. Again, makes uh, place them very close to the top of the hook. Again, insert hook to the previous stitch to the bottom part, where we draw threads through two loops. Find this place, insert hook below two threads, yarn over and make a loop. And next, make a double treble crochet, just like standard stitch. Okay, finish to make the stitch. Now we have five stitches. Now we will make treble crochet, so two times yarn over. Again, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch, below two threads. And start to make treble crochet, just standard stitch, make it, finish it, and we have five, six stitches, sorry, six stitches. In total, uh, uh, we will have like 13 stitches, so now will be middle one, stitch number seven. This will be double crochet, so only one time yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch, so again, find this place, insert hook below two threads, and make this double crochet, this will be middle stitch. Now we will work at the, with this uh, yes, second side, we already have this all points where we will insert our hook, so everything is more easy because you prepare this part, yes, you have this part now. So we start from double crochet, we need to make it to the same point where we already made this one double crochet. So one time yarn over, insert hook to the same point where we already made double crochet. Insert hook, make, uh, make a loop and just finish to make a double crochet. Okay, after this we need to make double crochet. I will just check, so we will have to the next point double, treble, four times, five times and six times here number, so everything is okay. So to the next point, to this one, I will make treble crochet, so two times yarn over, insert hook to this hole and make treble crochet. To the next point we will make a double treble crochet, so three times yarn over and make a stitch. Double treble crochet. Now four times yarn over, Make place this all loops very close to the top of the hook and make this long stitch to the next point. Make it accurate, not too tight, not too loosely. Okay, to the next point I will make long stitch with five times yarn over. So place this all loops very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the direct point and make this long stitch. All the time draw threads through two loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last long stitch at this leaf, so six times yarn over, place them very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the last point that we have here, yes, this one, and make a long stitch. So, just make it. Each time draw threads through two loops on your hook. So I finished to make this 13 stitch stitches. Yes, we have this leaf. I made it. So after this, make 16 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops. Uh, next, 5 times yarn over. Place them very close to the top of the hook. And now symmetrically we will make such combination of stitches like we did before. So insert hook to the next yes, stage that we have, to the third stage at the previous row below two threads. Make a loop. Now all the time yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And third time yarn over and draw through two loops. After this uh, we need to make two double treble crochet. So stop at this moment, make three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make a loop and start to make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. Okay, so now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And the last time, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. So we made it, this beautiful part. After this, uh, we should make uh, 16 loops, I think. Yes, 16 loops. 
Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Okay. I will look at the graphic now. We need to make five times yarn over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five times yarn over. Place this all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the next yes. We have here four stitches to the first one. Below two threads. Yarn over and make <laughs> like this. I will show you slowly. So we made loop. So yarn over and draw through two loops first time. Yarn over, draw through two loops second time. Yarn over and draw through two loops third time. At this moment stop. And now we will start to make double treble crochet a few times. So make three times yarn over. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the next stage of previous row. Make a loop. Now just make standard double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. So like this. And don't finish it. Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, make double treble crochet, and don't finish it, this stitch. And once again, three times yarn over, make, make a loop, and now start to make a double treble crochet. And don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops. And the last time, yarn over and draw through two loops. So we finish to make this difficult stage. Okay, it's ready. Everything looks great, so we can continue to work. Again, make 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, 16 loops. Now we have such area, yes. I will look to the graphic what we need to do. Okay, I see it. So we will work around this chain and after around this one. So we skip this arch, this one skip. Go cross this part, go to the second arch. So now I need to make only four times yarn over. One, two, three, four. Place them close to the top of the hook. Once again, skip this arch, go to the next one. Around, around this arch just around make like this loop yes and now start to make stitch yarn over and draw through two loops first time yarn over and draw through two loops second time now start to make treble crochet so two times yarn over insert hook below next arch and just make treble crochet but don't finish the stitch Yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, yarn over and draw through two loops and the last time. And we made such combination of stitches. Now you can see them. Okay. I think they are a little bit smaller, so I made them too tight. I will make them once again a little bit loosely because I see it's not good size for this work. So four times yarn over. Okay. Again, skip first arch, go around the second one. I will make longer here this threads. One and two. Two times yarn over, go around the next arch, make a little bit longer this everything, like this. Next, join together two loops, join together two, two and two. Now it looks like in previous rows better, I think, better size for this work. It should be like in one level. Now again, 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops. I will repeat the same, so I need to make 4 times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook around the same arch where we just work it, and now make again treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, 2 times yarn over, around next arch make treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Next, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, and again two and two. And we have such two parts. After 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, sixteen 16 loops. Now cross this part, this, this arch, and go to these four stitches that we have in previous row. Here we will make combination of stitches, start from five times yarn over. Place this all loops very close to the top of the hook. And now 
uh, insert hook to the first stage below two threads. And now, sorry, once again, and now make a loop, yarn over and draw thread through two loops, again two, and third time two. Now I will make tra double treble crochet, so three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, and make double treble crochet. And the last time, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet, and don't finish the stitch. Okay, now yarn over and draw thread through four, four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops. Again, two and two. So we made such combination of stitches. Uh, now 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we go to this area, to these uh, three stitches. First, I will work with the first stitch. We need to make five times yarn over. So we have three, four, five. Place these all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the first stitch that we have here. And make a loop. After yarn over and draw through two loops first time. Again yarn over and draw through two loops second time and third time. In this moment stop and make a double treble crochet to the next stitch. Sorry, to the same point. To the same point we need to make. So make a double treble crochet but don't finish the stitch and once again three times yarn over make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops again yarn over and draw through two loops and the last time yarn over and draw thread through two loops so we finish to make this Combination of stitches after 16 loops. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we will make this beautiful leaf to the middle stitch of previous row. For this we need to make 7 times yarn over. 4, 5, 6, 7. Place these all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch of previous row below 2 threads. Yarn over, make a loop first. Next, yarn over and draw threads through 2 loops. Yarn over and draw threads through two loops. Again, two, two, all the time. Draw thread through two loops on your hook. I finished to make this long stitch. Now make six times yarn over, three, four, five, six. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Now you need to work with this bottom part of our stitch where we draw thread through two loops. Insert to the middle of this area, yes, stitch below two threads. Yarn over and make loop. Next, yarn over and draw through two loops all the time. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook. And slowly, very accurate, finish to make this long stitch. Now, five times yarn over, three, four, five. Place them close to the top of the hook. Again, at the last, at the previous stitch, Find just this bottom part where we draw threads for two loops first time. Insert hook to the middle of this stitch below two threads, yarn over, make a loop and after all the time yarn over and draw threads for two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw threads for two loops. And slowly, accurate, not too tight, not too loosely, create this long stitches. Now four times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch below two threads, like this. Yarn over and make a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again two, two, two and two. Now double treble crochet, so three times yarn over. Again insert hook to the previous stitch to the bottom part below two threads. Make a loop, next yarn over and draw through two loops, again two, once again two, and the last time two. Now treble crochet, so two times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch below two threads, and make treble crochet. Okay. 
And now we have six stitches. Next will be stitch number seven. This will be the middle one. So only double crochet. So one time yarn over. Again, insert hook to the previous stitch to the bottom part and make a double crochet. Okay, I have it. Now we have middle stitch, we can start to work with second side, other side. We already have this all points that we will use now for our work. So first we will make double crochet to the same point where, where we just made double crochet. So insert hook to the same point and make double crochet. Next two times yarn over, make treble crochet to the next point. Insert hook to the next point and make treble crochet just standard stitch make everything not too tight it's very important now double treble crochet so three times yarn over insert hook to the next point below two threads yes to the middle yes we have this point already you can see it so it's not difficult to find it next to the next point I need to make long stitch with four times yarn over insert hook and make a stitch so carefully just step by step draw threads for two loops now five times yarn over four five insert hook to the next point make a loop after yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook all the time yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook and the last long stitch, six times yarn over, three, four, five, six. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the direct point where we, yes, we have it already at this point. And start to make this long stitch. We have this beautiful leaf. Uh, now symmetrically we will make such part before this part six chain loops three four five six next five times yarn over three four five places all loops very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the next stage that we have here at previous row below two threads make a loop next yarn over and row through two loops first time yarn over and row through two loops second time and third time now stop and start to make double treble crochet. So three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make a double treble crochet. Just don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make a double treble crochet. Just don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and row through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and row through two loops, two and the last two. So we have this part. I will look to the graphic now, one second, 16 loops, okay. One, two, three, four, five, 16 loops. Uh, now we will work with these four stitches from previous row. Uh, for this, uh, first I need to make five times yarn over. Three, four, five. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the first stitch, here we have it below two threads yarn over make a loop yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops and third time the same in this moment stop make three times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and make double treble crochet just don't finish the stitch Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and make a double treble crochet, just don't finish it. And the last time, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Like this we have a result in this moment. Now yarn over and draw thread through four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And the last time, yarn over and draw. Sorry, <laughs> we don't need to finish this one, I think. Yes, uh, you should leave like this, two loops, because we will make the same here, and only after this, join everything together. So you should have two loops on your hook. Now, five times yarn over, three, four, five. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Go to the next four stitches of previous row. Insert hook to the first stitch below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop. 
after yarn over draw through two loops first time, yarn over and draw through two loops second time and third time. Now stop, make three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row below two threads, make double treble crochet just don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and make double treble crochet just don't finish it. Again, three times yarn over, make a double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, and now I need to think. <laughs> I think we need to draw thread through this through, uh, three loops, I think, to join everything, yes, in one point, I think will be right like this. So, uh, just one moment, I will show you, we are working at the corner, so we will have two leaves like this, uh, this is a middle point like joining, yes, now we will repeat the same, we will make such combination of stitches after this beautiful leaf, and again the same combination of stitches. So, symmetrically I will make six chain loops, so let's work, one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops, uh, now make five times yarn over, Five. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Go to this area where we have these three stitches. Insert hook to the first stitch below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop. Yarn over, draw thread through two loops. First time, second time, and third time. Now stop. Make three times yarn over. Insert hook to the same point. Make a double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over. Insert hook to the same point and make a double treble crochet. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And finish to make this long stitch. Now 16 loops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 16 loops after 7 times yarn over 4, 5, 6, 7. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch of previous row below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop. Now yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops. And like this, work all the time till you finish this really long stitch. The last two loops, finish to make it. Okay, so we have this long stitch with seven times yarn over. Now six times yarn over, three, four, five, six. Place them close to the top of the hook. You need to find this bottom part of your previous stitch. Insert hook below two threads. Yarn over and make a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two, two, again two loops, two, two, and last two. So we have two stitches. Now five times yarn over, three, four, five. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch below two threads. Make a loop. Yarn over and draw threads for two loops all the time. Okay. Now four times yarn over, three, four. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle part of your previous stitch below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops, again two, again two, and the last two. We have four stitches in this moment, now double treble crochet, so three times yarn over, insert hook below two threads, and make double treble crochet, just standard stitch. Now treble crochet, so two times yarn over, again Insert hook to bottom part of previous stitch below two threads. Make treble crochet like standard stitch, yes, we have. So we have six stitches now. Now we will make middle one, double crochet, so only one time yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch below two threads. Yarn over, make a loop, after just finish to make double crochet. So we have middle stitch. Now we will work with other side. 
First stitch will be double crochet and you need to make it to the same point where we already made previous stitch. Yarn over, make a loop and finish to make double crochet. Now two times yarn over, make treble crochet to the next point, insert hook, make treble crochet very carefully not too tight. Now double treble crochet, so three times yarn over, insert hook to the next point and make double treble crochet. Ok, next four times yarn over and make long stitch to the next point. Now five times yarn over, three, four, five, insert hook to the next point and make this long stitch. All the time draw threads for two loops on your hook till you finish the stitch. And six times yarn over, this will be the last stitch and insert hook to the necessary point and make this really long stitch. Three, four, five, six. Yes, we finish it to make it. A beautiful result. Now we can make 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. And now symmetrically I will make the same. So five times yarn over, pl pre pl just place them very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the next stage of previous row. Make a loop after draw threads for two loops and repeat like this three times. In this moment stop and make double treble crochet to the same point. Don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet. And don't finish the stitch. Yarn over, draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, two, and the last two. So we finish it to make this part. Now, 16 loops one, two, three, four, five, six. Five times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook the next stitch of previous row and make like this. Yarn over, draw through two loops, two and two, so three times. Next three times yarn over, make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Again, one, two, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Now three times yarn over, the last time, make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. So we have like this result. Now yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And the last time. Finish to make it. Yes, beautiful stitch. Beautiful combination of stitches. And uh, now we need to make 16 loops. 3, 4, 5, 6. And we will work, uh, we will skip one arch, go to the next one. Four times yarn over, three, four. Place them close to the top of the hook. Just insert hook below this next arch, yes. Make a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Now two times yarn over. Go to the next arch, insert hook below and make travel crochet. Just don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. The last time, finish to make this combination of stitches. Now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will repeat the same. So first we need to make four times yarn over, insert hook around the same arch, just two times draw threads for two loops. After two times yarn over, go to the next arch and make treble crochet, just don't finish it. Yarn over, draw through two loops, two, two, and the last two. So we have such two combination of stitches. Now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now again we have a such part, this is the middle part. So we need to skip this part and this one arch and go to these four stitches. First I will make five times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the first stitch below two threads, yarn over and draw through two loops, 
yarn over and draw through two loops and third time like this. Now stop and make three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, make double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch, again one two three times yarn over, insert hook below two threads and make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Again three times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch and make double treble crochet. Now yarn over, draw through four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, and the last part. So we finish it to make this beautiful stitch. Now 16 loops, three, four, five, six. Now five times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, go to the next stitches, insert hook below two threads, and draw threads through two loops, second time and third time. Now stop and make three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make a double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Again one, two, three times yarn over, make a double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through three loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, two and two. Uh, now six chin loops, three, four, five, six, now seven times yarn over, four, five, six, seven. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch. Make a loop after yarn over and draw through two loops. Again yarn over and draw through two loops, again two. And like this, all the time draw thread through two loops on your hook. I have this long stitch. Now six times yarn over, three, four, five, six. Place them close to the top of the hook. Find this bottom part of your long stitch where we draw thread through two loops. Insert hook to the middle of this part, below two threads, yarn over and make a loop. Next yarn over and draw through two loops, two, again two. Very slowly work like this and finish to make this long stitch. Uh, now we have two stitches. Now one, two, three, four, five times yarn over. Again, you need to find bottom part of previous stitch and insert hook to the middle below two threads. Yarn over and make a loop. And next, just work like this till you finish to make this long stitch. Now four times yarn over, place, place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the bottom part and make this long stitch. Okay, I have it. Now double treble crochet, so three times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, next just make standard double treble crochet, yes. We have five stitches, now treble crochet, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make treble crochet. Now the last uh, stitch at this yes part, the middle one, we will uh, have double crochet again. One time yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make double crochet. Now work with other side. One time yarn over, make double crochet to the same point where we just made double crochet. Now treble crochet to the next point. Make it not too tight. Now double treble crochet to the next point. After triple treble crochet to the next point. Four times yarn over. After five times yarn over and make this long stitch to the next point. Three, four, five times yarn over. Now six times yarn over and make this last long stitch at this part. So just make this last long stitch here. Okay, now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, five times here now, three, four, five. Insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, draw thread through two loops three times and stop. Next make three times yarn over and after double treble crochet just don't finish the stitch. Again three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same point 
and don't finish the stitch. After yarn over and draw through 3 loops on your hook, yarn over draw through 2 loops, 2 and 2. So we have such part. Now 6 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now 5 times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, draw thread through 2 loops 3 times, next stop, make 3 times yarn over and make double treble crochet. 1, 2, 3, make again double treble crochet. Again, double treble crochet. Uh, join together these 4 threads, yarn over draw through 2 loops, 2 and 2. Ok, so now we have a uh, such yes part ready after 6 chain loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next 4 times yarn over. I will skip this arch, go to the next one, insert hook below, make a loop after yarn over draw through 2 loops and again through 2 loops. Now stop, make 2 times yarn over, make treble crochet around the next arch. Don't finish the stitch, after yarn over and draw through 2 loops, 2, 2 and 2. After 6 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times yarn over, around the same arch make loop, yes, draw thread through 2 loops twice, stop and make 2 times yarn over, make treble crochet around the next arch, next draw thread through 2 loops all the time. And we have such stitches. Next 6 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have again corner. So I already show you all yes parts. Now we will just repeat the same. That's why I will work faster and I hope it's okay for you. Because we have a lot of work here, yes, in this row. So let's make it quick, <laughs> no, more quick, yes. So I will skip this part, make 5 times yarn over. Insert hook to the next stitch, yes, we have here 4 stitches, and start to make this long stitch. 3 times draw spread through 2 loops, after I will make double treble crochet each time, don't finish each stitch. Just make 3 double treble crochet now. In the end we have here a lot of uh, loops, yarn over and draw through 4 loops, through two, two and two. Now um, I will make six chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I need to make five times yarn over, place them very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the next stage of previous row, three times draw thread through two loops, after make two double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish this all stitches. After yarn over draw through 3 loops, 2 loops, 2 and 2. Now 6 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times yarn over, 4, 5, 6, 7. Place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the middle stitch and slowly, very accurate, make this long stitch. I have some problems with my thread. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Thank you that you are still watching this workshop and making. <laughs> and I'm, I, I think you are making together with me. So we have uh, now six chain loops, four, five, six chain loops. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make this long stitch. After five times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make again long stitch. After four times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make this long stitch. After double treble crochet, three times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make it. Now treble crochet, insert hook to the 
bottom part of previous stitch. Now double crochet to the bottom part of previous stitch. And now start to make second part. Uh, start from double crochet to the same point where we just made previous stitch. After treble crochet to the next point. After double treble crochet to the next point. Next, four times yarn over and to the next point make this long stitch. Now five times yarn over and make again long stitch. Now six times yarn over, three, four, five, six and the last stitch we need to make. So we have our leaf after six chain loops. Three, four, five, six. Five times yarn over three, four, five. Insert hook to the next stitch of previous row. Three times draw thread through two loops and stop. Next, make three times yarn over, double treble crochet, and again double treble crochet. Just don't finish each stitch. Now yarn over, draw through three loops, two loops, two loops, and two. Now six chain loops. Three, four, five, six. Now make five times yarn over, insert hook to the previous stitch, yes, of previous row, uh, make uh, like this, draw thread through two loops three times, next make a double treble crochet to each stitch of previous row and don't finish each stitch. Now draw thread through four loops on your hook, two, two, and you need to leave two loops on your hook because we need to stop, start to make uh, new yes stitches. So five times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitches of previous row. Next, make three double treble crochet. Don't finish each stitch. Yarn over, draw through four loops, two, two, and the last three. Okay, we have this combination of stitches. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six. Now five times yarn over, go to the next three stitches, insert hook to the first stitch below two threads, three times draw thread through two loops. After make two double treble crochet to the same point. Don't finish the stitches. One, two, three times. Okay. After yarn over and draw through three loops, two loops, two loops, and two loops. We have it. Okay, next six chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times yarn over. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch of previous row and start to make this really long stitch. Okay, I have it. Now one, two, three, four, five, six times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and very accurate make this long stitch again. Now five times yarn over, three, four, five. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make this stitch. Okay, now we have seven six five four times four times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make this one after double treble crochet so three times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make a double treble crochet after treble crochet and the last just double crochet. This will be stitch number seven, the middle one. After make double crochet to the same point and next treble crochet to the next point. After double treble crochet to the next point. Next four times yarn over and make to the next point this long stitch. Now five times yarn over. Ok, 
okay and the last three four five six times yarn over and make this long stitch okay we have this beautiful leaf now six chain loops three four five six after five times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and uh, just three times draw through three loops on your hook after start to make a double treble crochet to the same point don't finish the stitches and uh, next uh, when you will have like this make yarn over draw through three loops two loops two loops and two so we have this part and uh, now 16 loops one two three four five six five times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch of previous row three times draw thread through two loops next stop and make three double treble crochet and don't finish them in the end join together four loops after two two and two and we have such stitch uh, now 16 loops three four five six four times yarn over skip one arch go to the next one around make a loop after yarn over draw through two loops twice again two times yarn over go to the next arch make a round treble crochet just don't finish the stitch yarn over draw through two loops two two and the last two now 16 loops one two three four five six make four times yarn over go around the same arch make a loop after draw thread through two loops twice after stop make two times yarn over go to the next arch and make a treble crochet next yarn over draw through two loops two two and the last two we have our beautiful stitches now 16 loops three four five six skip this part skip this arch go to these four stitches make five times yarn over place them close to the top of the hook insert hook to the first stitch draw thread through two loops three times next stop make three double treble crochet step by step and don't finish the stitches Uh, now yarn over draw through four loops two loops two loops and the last two next 16 loops three four five six make five times yarn over place them close to the top of the hook insert hook to the next stitch of previous row three times draw thread through two loops next stop make two double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitches After join together three loops, two loops, two and two. Uh, next, 16 loops, three, four, five, six. Make seven times yarn over, four, five, six, seven. Uh, place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle of stage of previous row and very accurate make this long stage. Step by step, draw thread for two loops on your hook. So I have this long stage now three four five six times yarn over place them close to the top of the hook insert hook to the bottom part and make long stitch after five times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make this long stitch also now four times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make a long stitch now double treble crochet so three times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make the stitch next treble crochet so two times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make treble crochet now double crochet also to the bottom part of previous stitch and this is our middle stitch number seven now make again double crochet to the same point after treble crochet to the next point next double treble crochet to the next point after four times yarn over 
and make a long stitch to the next point. After 5 times yarn over and insert hook to the next point. And now 6 times yarn over. Place all the threads very close to the top of the hook and make accurate long stitch. Now 6 chain loops. Now 5 times yarn over. Insert hook to the last stitch of previous row, 3 times draw thread through 3 loops and now make 2 double treble crochet, we just don't finish the stitch. Like this. Yarn over, draw through 3 loops, 2 loops, 2 loops and 2. Now 16 loops. Uh, now 5 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, 3 times draw thread through 2 loops on your hook, after make 3 double treble crochet, just don't finish each stitch during your work. Now yarn over, draw through 4 loops, 2 loops, 2 loops and 2. After, uh, we need to skip next arch, so 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, skip 1 arch, go to the second one and twice draw thread through 2 loops on your hook. After 2 times yarn over, go around the next arch, make treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Next yarn over, draw through 2 loops, 2, 2 and 2. Next 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 times yarn over, 3, 4, place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook around the same arch, draw thread through 2 loops twice, and after 2 times yarn over, go to the next arch, make treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch, yarn over, draw through 2 loops, 2, and again 2, and the last 2. And we have such combination of stitches. Now 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skip this arch and go to these 4 stitches, place these all loops very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the first stitch, yarn over, make a loop, after draw thread through 2 loops 3 times, and now stop, make 3 times yarn over, make a double treble crochet to the next stitch of previous row, don't finish it, again 3 times yarn over make again double treble crochet to the next stitch and once again double treble crochet to the next stitch of previous row. Now yarn over draw through 4 loops, 2 loops, 2 loops and 2. Now 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times, 5 times yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row, 3 times draw thread through 2 loops on your hook, Stop and make two double treble crochet to the same point. Now draw thread through three loops, two loops, two loops, and two. Now sixteen loops, three, four, five, six. Make seven times yarn over, four, five, six, seven. Place them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the middle point and make a long stitch, the longest one. Ok, now 6 times yarn over, 4, 5, 6, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make it. Now 5 times yarn over. I don't know why, but this stitch is not so nice. I will make it again. 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe a little bit loosely I need to make it. Now it's better. So now 3, 4, 5 times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make it. 
now four times yarn over and make again long stitch now double treble crochet so three times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make it now two times yarn over and make treble crochet now the middle stitch double crochet after start to make stitches at the other side we start from double crochet make uh, just we need to make it to the same point after treble crochet to the next point next three times yarn over double treble crochet to the next point after four times yarn over after five times yarn over and six times yarn over four five six and make the last long stitch at the other side okay I have this part now six chain loops three four five six and now five times yarn over and make three times draw threads for two loops after two double treble crochet to the same point again double treble crochet to the same point yarn over draw through three loops two loops two and two next 16 loops three four five six go to the next stitches make five times yarn over and start to make long stitch make a loop next draw thread through two loops three times stop and start to make three double treble crochet each time don't finish the stitch now yarn over draw through four loops two loops two loops and two sorry last two we don't need to do because we have this middle point so here we will join together the same parts so stop leave two uh, just loops on your hook and now start the same five times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch three times draw thread through two loops on your hook next uh, make a double treble crochet three times don't finish each stitch okay now yarn over draw through four loops after two loops two loops and now this three loops in the end join together after 16 loops three four five six five times yarn over three four five insert hook to the next stage of previous row three times draw thread through two loops and now make two double treble crochet to the same point don't finish each stage first stage I have and now again second stitch now yarn over draw through three loops two loops two loops and two now six chain loops three four five six after seven times yarn over four five six seven place them very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the middle stitch and make the longest stitches with seven times yarn over now six times yarn over three four five six place them very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make step by step this long stitch now five times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make it now four times yarn over insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make beautiful stitch now three times yarn over and make to the bottom part of previous stitch double treble crochet now two times yarn over 
make treble crochet to the bottom part of previous stitch and now the middle stitch double crochet also insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch now start to make second part of the sleeve okay I will just check my thread it's okay now double crochet to the same point now treble crochet to the next point now double treble crochet and four times yarn over now five times yarn over three four five now six times yarn over three four five six Okay, and now six chain loops three, four, five, six, five times here now three, four, five. Insert hook to the next point of previous row. Three times draw thread through two loops. After make two double treble crochet to the same point. Okay, I finished this part. And now I will finish the uh, next part and I think we will finish to make this lesson because we have almost one hour and a half and uh, I didn't think it will <laughs> took so long time so don't worry about this part where we need to finish our row yes we will now look to the scheme but first I will finish this uh, part this just corner this one so 16 loops 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 times yarn over and start to make this long stitch after make 3 double treble crochet step by step don't finish it don't finish this all stitches So I have this part. I need to fix this thread. So we made three corners in this moment. Uh, we have like one corner, middle part, second corner, yes, middle part and third corner. After I will make, uh, yes, uh, just as middle part and corner and uh, that's all for this one lesson I hope you understand everything and uh, this is really long work because this is almost the last yes row and that's why it took a lot of time but let's see what we have at the end of this row how to join it uh, I will show you now graphic on my I will show you graphic and uh, there we will talk about how to finish this row and don't worry this part also I will tell you I will show you in the beginning of the next row the last uh, at the next uh, lesson this will be the last lesson number six so one second I will turn my camera and show you this part okay so and now I can show you on this scheme uh, how to finish this row and I see a comment uh, um, hi beautiful and I like the color thank you so much Jayene, thank you so much for your comment. Thank you for visiting this workshop. Linda, thank you, Julia. Very beautiful stitches and design. Uh, mine, mine should be done soon. It uh, has so far a wonderful lesson. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you for all smiles. So let's see to the graphics, just a few seconds. So we are making this row, yes. We just uh, learned how to make this uh, two leaves at the corners and also one leaf at the middle. And now how to finish this lesson. So we started, let me see, we started from here. Uh, we made uh, 16 loops to move up, journey together, this uh, three double tra treble crochet, next three chain loops to move up, we made here. This was beginning. So uh, how to finish very easily. You will make these two parts, you already know how to make them. And you will have the last 16 loops. In the end, just make a slip stitch, yes, to this three chain loops that we made in the beginning. In total we made nine chain loops because we have like three and six. 
together nine. But in the end, you need to find this third chain loop and join to the third chain loop by slip stitch. That's all. From this point, uh, we will start our yes, almost finished. We will start the last long row and we will have the last small edging. So lesson number six that we will have very soon. This will be the last lesson about this difficult uh, yes tablecloth shantai, but very beautiful tablecloth. So let's see just a few seconds to our result that we will have very soon. So we are making these beautiful leaves now in this moment, uh, row number 10, and this will be row number 11 and row number 12 at the next last lesson. And very soon we will see our result, and I will see a beautiful result, so it will be great. Thank you so much for your attention, this was a really long lesson. Thank you that you stay with me, that you are working on this tablecloth. For your all ki kind comments, thank you so much for your kindness and see you very soon. Yes, and we will finish to make this beautiful tablecloth together. It was really nice to see you all. Thank you so much and bye bye, see you, see you very soon.